Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I've got my fall lookbook for you. Um, it's probably the first of a couple of fall lookbooks. I think I'm going to do more than one. It's a little early uh, this year. I'm doing it in September because I feel like fall has come early. My little toes want to be covered, so I've got booties to show you, knee-high boots, some of the trends with the snake and camo and all the animal prints. So I've been out in the store shopping. I've got everything that I'm going to put into outfits collected here on this little rack. And so I'm going to show you how I would style these clothes for fall 2019. I'm going to show you a few different ways to wear a few things so that you can get multi-uses out of them. Now everything that I'm showing will be linked in the information box below the video. All you do is click on the show more button if you're watching on like a computer or if you're on a mobile device there's a little triangle in one of the corners either this one or this one below the video. If you click that triangle um, the info box will open and you will see links to everything. I try to keep everything under a hundred. Of course there are always things like booties or something that's over a hundred but most of the stuff is in the under a hundred dollar price point and some of it is way under a hundred so you don't have to think like oh my god every single item is like going to be $99. It's not. And then the last thing of course is the sizing. I'm going to put my height, weight, and sizes that I normally take in the information box for your information as well as the size that I took everything in. Most of these outfits are fairly casual. I'm going to start with more casual and work my way up to more dressy. There might be a couple things that could potentially be for work, for office wear. You know for date night I try to cover just about everything. I don't have like a really stunning dress for like an event in this one. I actually just just went to a wedding and I wore a dress that was available last spring and let me just show it to you here quickly because this dress was such a hit at the wedding. Everybody loved it and it's just so flattering and so beautiful and it is still available in more folly colors. I actually bought it in the blush pink and the burgundy last spring and I returned the burgundy because it was just a little bit too like folly and not springy and now that it was fall I kind of wished I had the burgundy or it also comes in a lot of great colors this fall a royal blue a nice teal green a beautiful bright red that is a great dress if you're looking for a dress for a dress up occasion all right so let's get started looking at the clothes let's talk about this sweater the first thing I have on this is the same as this sweater which you will see is styled into a few outfits um, but this is a great little eyeliner sweater. It's so soft and so cozy and I just love this teal blue color of it. This is very on trend sweater because it has the bishop sleeves but what I like about this is that they're not enormous. All right this first outfit is a real transitional outfit from when you're going from those warmer days and it's suddenly getting cooler but you can still have your toes out. You still want to wear like a sleeveless top but you need to have a sweater for later in the day in case it gets chilly. So this is a 75% Target outfit fit. The sweater, the tank, and the shoes are all from Target. The jeans are a higher end pair of jeans and I got them at the Nordstrom sale over the summer. So let's start with the top half. This little tank top is so cute. They just have these in all different colors, all different patterns. I like it that it's like a muted gray, tan, and cream colored leopard. The sweater that I have on is also from Target and I just love this sweater. I've been wearing it nonstop since I got it. It's really the weave on it that I think is so nice. It just has this really nubbly, textury weave that I just love. It's so soft and so cozy and the jeans are my AG ex-boyfriend jeans and these are more of like a loose fitting distressed jean. They're a crop. These have really been my go-to jeans all summer but you can also keep them going through the fall by just putting them on with a sweater, a little bit less of a sandal and a little bit more of a a booty. So this is a great transition booty because it has the open toe and it has these big cutouts here. So it's kind of a cross between like a sandal and a booty, but it's in a great fall color, this nice taupe suede. I love the ankle strap on this one and it's got the big stacked heel and I love how the fabric is perforated on the front here so it just gives it that little pop of texture. This next outfit shows you what my pretty standard fall uniform is here in New England. I love a field jacket, especially an olive colored field jacket. I tend to buy a new one every other year. It's a little bit longer and a little bit more roomier than the one that I had before and I kind of like this one a lot better because I can fit more 
under it. So it does have a hood which is not detachable. It does have a cinchable waist and so you can gather that or not as you like. It's in a really soft cotton. It's not coated, it's not going to be waterproof or anything. So I love the field jacket but isn't this the cutest little tank top? It's like a little Henley. It's got a couple of buttons down here and it ends in like a quarter uh, v-neck and then it's just got a finely ribbed fabric and it's just kind of a regular slim cut with a uh, scooped hem so it's very flattering. Then the jeans that I have on are from Target. These are universal thread jeans. I had never tried any Target jeans before so I wanted to try a pair and these actually fit really well and they look really great. They have a lot of fading in here. They don't have many rips just a couple but I love it that they have the destroyed hem. I'm really into these like shaggy chewed up hems on the jeans these days. The adorable sneakers I have on the bottom are from Nordstrom. These are so cute. They're a camo sneaker with the big white tread but they have like a hidden wedge inside. They have a zipper down the front so they're really easy to get into and out of. And I just love the camo on these. These are going to be great for just kicking around all fall. They'll go with everything. These also came in solids. I believe there's a black and a tan or a black and a gray something like that but you know if you're not into the camo. And the tote bag I'm carrying with that outfit is this vegan leather and suede tote. This is just such a great tote bag. Such a perfect size for commuting to work, fitting all your stuff in. And what I love about this the most is these outside pockets. So it has three outside pockets, one on each end and one in the center. It's got a nice thick strap the fabric is perforated at the top and this for faux suede looks so much like real suede. I looked at a lot of faux leather handbags for this video. Didn't really like the look of a lot of them and this one was perfect. This also came in black but I really love this buttery tan color. And I'll show you my belt here. It's an oval buckle belt, black leather, super cute belt. I've had it for a couple of years. I'll see if it's still available if I can link that. All right, sticking with the same Target jeans, I think this is my favorite outfit of the lookbook. I just love this combination. This just says fall to me. This outfit is a little bit more dressy. It's great for touristing around, for date night, for lunch with your girlfriends or whatever you're doing on the weekend. But it just has a very basic plain sweater underneath and I love this sweater. It's like a bulky boxy sweater and I love a sweater like this tucked into jeans. I think that it just looks so great and so cozy. This is a soft soft sweater with no itchiness. It doesn't have any wool in it. It's mainly cotton and it's just like a perfect fall piece that goes with everything in your wardrobe. But I put it with this plaid oversized blazer coat. I like it that it has both tan and black in it. I think that the plaid is really cool. I love the cut on this. It's a little bit oversized so I would definitely size down on this. The one I have is an extra small. It's just beautifully made. It's fully lined. It's got those nice patch pockets. And then the boots they have on the bottom half are these mid-calf heeled booties. I love these. I love a mid-calf boot. There's just something so like hip and fresh about them. But I love the chunky sole on these so you'll be really secure walking. And these have the wrap buckles around the side. And these are a faux leather and this color is just beautiful. It's kind of a cross between an olive green and a brown and a tan. So it just goes so well with all your neutral fall colors. All right, this next outfit is such a cutie. I'm so in love with this one too. So the pair of skinny jeans that I'm showing with this outfit are my Good American jeans. I bought these in the Nordstrom sale over the summer and these jeans are so flattering. I love them. I love the wash on these. I love the cut on these. They are like the perfect jeans and really kind of my favorites right now. And then what I have on the top half with those jeans is this little shell from Target. Isn't this beautiful? I just love the fabric on this. It's got like a little bit of a leopard or snake print color on color in the fabric and the fabric on this is so silky and soft. Now this is a small so I would size up on these because they do tend to run a little small. Let me put those away so that I can show you the jacket. This can just be your everyday go-to like a plain gray soft fleecy sweater coat is going to be your best friend this fall and this will take you all the way through winter because it's a sweater but it's structured a little bit more like a jacket so it has that little bit of a professional edge to it but yet it's still casual. And I love the long line on this and I just love how soft this fabric is. Like it looks like a boiled wool or something but it's really just a fleece. It is the softest fleece and you see me again wearing it with a 
top that doesn't have long sleeves and this is not itchy at all. That's a real winner. And what did I have on my Tootsies in the, this one? Ah yes, I was wearing the snake booties. I think I bought a pair last winter when snake was just starting to happen. This is my third pair and I gotta say, I think this is my favorite pair. These are definitely the most comfortable. This is a faux leather, but I love the heel height on this one. I do have a pair of snake booties that are higher heel and so they're more for like girls night out or date night. Um, but this one is definitely for like every single day and so I'm just gonna love wearing this with all of my different fall outfits. All right, keeping the blush pink cami, but switching up the outfit. Um, this is like a great weekend staying home or going shopping or just running around doing your errands any day of the week kind of outfit. So I put on the cami with a plaid shirt. This is also from Target. So this is a pretty uh, inexpensive outfit except for the boots. <laughs> um, but this plaid shirt is so cute and these are so soft. And I think that the colors of this one are just really great for fall. I love the rusty kind of peachy orangey colors of this. And the jeans that I have on with that outfit are my first pair of jeans from Walmart. These are the Sofia Vergara jeans and I picked up a pair in black. These are like the skinny crop jeans. And those are really cute jeans. They're styled really well. Like the nameplate is black, the button's black. So they just give you a very sleek black silhouette. And of course they're a skinny, so very sleek silhouette on those. The boots I have on are these Sam Edelman riding boots. These are a great boot. They have a little bit of dark darkened, distressing at the toe, a very low stacked heel. These are so comfortable to walk around in. The calf opening is a good size. I think it's gonna fit the average calf. You know, mine are a little scrawny, so I have a little room in there. Um, but they do make all the Sam Edelman boots in a wide calf as well. And then these have a full zip up the back, so they're really easy to get in and out of. The last outfit with the black jeans features this beautiful green trench coat. I just could not believe it when I saw this guy. I was shopping on the Walmart website and they had a beautiful faux suede trench coat. It came in tan, it came in this olive color, and just to put it on with like a simple black outfit and a beautiful high-heeled pump, this could make such a great business look. The tank top I have on underneath is a pretty basic shell that I got from Amazon. It's a nice deep v-neck. It has nice deep armholes. It's got kind of a drapey, boxy, longer fit, so I'm wearing it untucked over here. And then the shoe I have on with that outfit are my Sam Edelman pump. Pumps. These are a nude colored patent leather pump. These came in a wide width, but they don't look like a wide shoe. You know, a lot of the wide shoes that come in and they're like, wow. Um, these actually just give a little bit more room in the toe box, so they're actually quite comfortable, but they are a killer looking shoe. And I love these with jeans or with an outfit like this. They just dress it up. All right, keeping the pumps on for this next outfit, this makes a great date night outfit, or if you're going to like brunch with your girlfriends or your daughters or your parents or something. It makes a really super cute look. So this sweater was such a surprise to me. This is another thing that I got on Walmart. Price point was pretty good. Um, and I just love the weave on this. I love the neck. It's got kind of a boat neck that you can wear on the shoulder, but if you want to wear one shoulder off, you could even pull it off two shoulders because it's very, very stretchy knit fabric. But this is also like an eyelash sweater. You can see that it's just very fuzzy and nubbly. But this one again is so super soft, does not itch me at all. It's like perfect sweater. And then what I wear under a sweater like that, if I do want to pull it off the shoulder but I still want to wear my bra, is I just get a little bralette like this and I just wear it right over my bra and I just put the straps of this right over my bra strap. So um, double the support which is awesome. And uh, then the pants that I have on here are from Target. These are the cutest little window pane plaid pants. You guys know that I'm a sucker for anything window pane. The only thing I wish was different about these pants is that I wish that the plaids lined up in the front. But with a sweater like this that kind of comes a little lower and covers the waist of the pants, I think it's fine. You can get away with it. Uh, you know, a higher end, more expensive pair of pants would line up the plaids. These are like a stretch legging. I'm wearing them a size up so they look more like a trouser than a legging. Pumps definitely elevate the look, make it a little more sexy. If you want to go a little more street with the look, you could wear a high heeled combat boot like this one. I am so in love with these boots. Why, how many times 
times when I said I'm in love with something. Well, you know what? I just love clothes. They're so much fun. This is the cutest pair of combat boots. They have this little white stitching. They're like a granny boot with the lacing, but you don't have to lace them up every time because they have the zip. This is a faux leather, but I love the heel height on this. But look at the size of the platform in the front. So that makes these really comfortable for walking. So they're not really that much of a heel. And these are just so cute. All right, next up is an outfit that's really on trend this year. These lightweight cut on the bias skirts with a big chunky sweater over the top are everything this year. So I wanted to get one and I just love the pattern on this skirt so much, you guys. It looks like a like stormy Halloween night, right? Like I think it's just kind of spooky and atmospheric. That is a beautiful skirt. The fabric is really nice. It just has a stretchy elastic waist going on here. So you just pull it on. I love the midi length on it. So this sweater is this sweater's sister. So these came in some really pretty colors. What else do I have with it? Oh, the bomber jacket. Oh my gosh, you guys, this bomber jacket is so cool. I love the heavyweight chunky bomber with this outfit. I just think it makes this outfit so street. You know, like, I'm so suburban. <laughs> But sometimes I just want to dress like a city girl again. You know, I was a city girl for 15 years. This jacket has this beautiful hot pink lining. It's quilted, so it does have like a little bit of like puff to it. With the puffiness, it's insulated, so it's just going to be a little bit warmer and a little bit more versatile to wear it farther into the season. These are my Vionic ankle booties from last year. These are a little bit more of a dressy booty than, say, the Chelsea booty over here. I love an ankle booty with a skirt. So if you didn't want quite so hard of an edge to it, you wanted to feminize it a little bit and make it a little bit more girly, you could wear this chunky sweater with it and this shoe. I can see this skirt would have so many uses, like you could wear it to brunch on the weekend and make it really tough and street. You could wear it like this to the office. You could put on just a white shell underneath and a black suiting jacket. I mean, there are just so many ways that you can wear this skirt. I think it's just a really great, really versatile piece for the fall. This last dress is a really versatile piece that you could wear to work or you can just wear it in your normal life just for kicking around. It's so casual yet dressy. It's just perfect for anyone of any age. I was out shopping with my mom and we both bought this same dress and I'm sure we will wear it completely differently and I'm sure it will look fantastic on her and hopefully it looks fantastic on me. It's like a long t-shirt dress so it just has a standard scoop neck here, regular old armholes jersey material and it's just got all this great detail here where it's got this ruching and the knot and this is a separate piece of fabric that is attached to the front of the dress so this adds a lot of cover for if you have any midsection issues it's going to help to hide anything you have going on there and it's just a really comfortable easy to wear piece i would wear this now with bare legs and like a little strappy sandal or a black pump and then um, as i'm showing it here i'll wear it through the fall with the black tights and a black booty i also got this great little moto jacket at loft this is so cute I love the fabric on this. It's like a marled gray and it's just really soft and fuzzy, but this is a little bit of an elevated piece because it does have all the moto designs. This was pretty spendy, but fortunately they always have that 40% off sale. I did buy it at 40% off and I believe the 40% off is going on right now. This is fully lined. It has pockets. It has working zippers. It's just a great little jacket and I love it with that dress. So that's it for my first fall lookbook video. I am going to be doing another fall lookbook later in the season, so stay tuned for that. I'm also going to be doing individual store hauls. So last week I did an Amazon haul that were transitional clothes. I had some really cute sweaters in that, so if you didn't see exactly what you were looking for in here, you might um, take a look at that video. I can link it right up here. So I have a few more hauls teed up. I would like to do a Target haul, a Nordstrom haul, and maybe a Walmart haul. So let me know what you guys are interested in as far as stores. So that's the whole lookbook for today. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed putting the outfits together. If you did, go ahead and give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate your watching. Remember all the links are in the information box below the video along with all my sizing information and the sizes that I took and everything. And if I didn't mention it in the video but you see it here, it will also be linked below. So happy shopping everybody and have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.